Hi, welcome to this video review of L Luden Press's new module, The Beacon of Ilum Vale. This is a swords and wizardry module for first to third level characters. It's quite a large module, it's over a hundred pages. I'm going to give you a peek, have a look at what you get when you purchase the product, um, and be aware also there are spoilers in this video, so um, players beware and DMs um, enjoy. Let's have a look. Okay, so uh, there's a table of contents at the start of this. Introduction, background, beginning the adventure, escapades. Escapades are pre-built um, things because it's a, it's a, it's a city-based. Start out in a main city, then there's a hex crawl across uh, a province. Escapades are pre-built uh, adventures that you can just drop around, pre-built encounters. Uh, the town itself, Ilum Vale, sewers, the caves of Fazol is the major crawl within the dungeon, and then there's the shrine as well. Appendices and maps are all down the back. There are pre-generated adventurers, and then you've got copyright and licensing. One thing you get with this module that's different from a lot of others is you get a digital pack with it as well. So you get the module and the digital pack I'll tell you about that um, towards the end of this video. So let's go in and have a look. This index you'll see, um, it's an active index. So if you click on the, the page, it'll take you directly to that page. So let's go in and have a quick look at the content itself. There is a pre-built area that this takes place in, a province called Baimon Province. You could drop this, it's OSR, you could drop this into any area you wanted to, but it comes pre-built with its own area. Um, also, I've put some, we'll go to the next page here, uh, I've put some notes in for referees running this. You'll see on the bottom left, SWP, so that indicates a Swords and Wizardry page reference. So if you're looking at a monster or a stat or something, I'll have a page reference, you can go straight into the book, it speeds up gameplay. Escapades, like I said, are the pre-built adventures. There's some other stuff about um, the ongoing war, environment, tactics. So there's all suggestions on play. And there's also um, a lot of optional rules in this, especially down the back in the appendices. And one of those is adventuring experience points. Um, it may be a bit of a bump that you want to use. Looking more uh, into the actual province itself, there you'll see the details. You can drop this anywhere this module, but it comes with this pre-built area. You'll see the little map there. There's a large version of that hex map down in the appendices as well. So let's uh, crawl a bit more into the town. Right, so if we're looking at page 16, what I've done before you go into the town, the town is quite large. Half of the module is the town itself. So I've given you a map here on page 16 and 17, which are all the locations within the town. So when you're playing the game, it might be useful to print these two pages out and the map of the city itself so you can move people around the town quite easily. It'll give you a quick heads up on all the locations and it also gives you the page reference on where they are. All the town buildings are built up into different areas. G and the number is the government buildings. W is waterfront. R is the religious buildings and M is all the mercantile buildings within the town. So it's over 40 pages of just town buildings. They're fully detailed, fully statted. There are over 70 plus fully statted NPCs within the module. So um, when you enter an area, you'll see the standard stuff. The grey dialog box indicates that that's a, a part that you can read out to your players. Then you go into all the details. You see there the star, uh, sergeant at arms, the scribe, standard um, swords and wizardry stat blocks. Moving further down into the town, one of the things that comes with this town is um, optional rules for guilds. So here we can see G9, the Order of Righteous Might, um, and that is the Paladin's Guild. Um, and you'll see a picture there of Sir Wilfred Stern, the commander of Orm. Um, with this module, the artwork, I have used AI artwork and I have done artwork myself, but no piece of AI artwork is AI alone. They're highly manipulated by me. Um, and as such, it's copyright uh, loot and press. The main adventure part of the module, you hex crawl around, you 
bump into escapades as you go. They're the pre-built adventures. But eventually the, the storyline is to run into the caverns of Fazol. Uh, Fazol being the arch nemesis super evil deity that all the um, goblin types follow in this area. And you're basically the storyline, you know, it's a spaghetti western. You've got to go and knock out his forces, locate them, knock them out. As you move into, from the caverns, you'll move into an actual old abandoned, well, reoccupied shrine called the Shrine of Fazol. Um, so this is the uh, start of that. And you'll see we're at, we're at page 68 before we even get to the second part of the dungeon. And then there is a major dungeon area. So I think there's 56 locations uh, in the dungeon. Overall XP um, is about 4,000 XP, depending on how you set up um, your totals and whether you use the optional rules, it could be higher. When we get down to page 80, there are appendices and maps. You'll see here the first um, optional rules. So definitely take a look at those. One thing is organization of guilds. There's a lot of guilds within the town. You can sign up, you get benefits. There's a series of magic items in here. Um, healing cookies, um, antidotes, all sort of stuff as well. There's half a dozen monsters. Most of the monsters in the dungeon are easily portable to OSR and obviously there is six or seven monsters that you'll have to do a manual conversion across if you're using a different set of rules. One thing in this is there's four deities. You'll see there, um, Madame Max, uh, Master of the Elements, Fazol, is the um, deity of chaos. Um, so I've created deities and deity stat blocks, which is something that's slightly uh, outside, optional, outside the rules. If you're using your own system, your own environment, just plug your own deities in. Page 98 onwards towards the end of the modules are all the maps and appendices. I didn't put the maps throughout the book because if I'd done that, the book would have been well over. It's already 112 pages. Um, we'll have a look through here. Player's map of the area, Baimon province. Um, there's the town itself. So you'll see there's, you know, 100 plus locations within the town. And then there's obviously a player version of the map as well. And that's the major crawl for the players to play with. You'll also see in, in that appendices down the back, there are fully statted characters. And these, you just print the page, cut them in half, send them across to your players. If you're playing online, there's all pre-stated adventures. Obviously at the back, there's the copyright and licensing. Just before I go, I will say, what is this? This is the digital map pack. So when you get this pack, you'll get a zip file as well when you get the PDF. In there are over 70 artworks. They are done in six by four format. So if you're playing in game, permission is granted. You can go and print these out and use these in game. These are all the artwork that featured within the module. So they're done in, in you know, no first level dungeon we would be without these nice little giant rats, of course. So this is basically an illustration booklet in a digital format for your players. So if you're on a VTT, permission is granted. Uh, if you can upload those photos, upload and use them in game. There's a Goblin Army picture. So you've got over 70 art pack that comes with this module as well. They're all six by four format photos. You can take them down to your photo print place, print them all out and use them in game. Because what I find is a lot of mega dungeons, stuff like that, have an illustration booklet. That's great. But during play, um, you know, for some reason, players tend to wipe their nose on it, spill beer on it, whatever. It always gets hacked. This way, you can do them as six by four photos. They've got laminated. Obviously, they're only a couple of cents a copy. So you get a zipped file with over 70 JPEGs. Part of that is all the NPC characters. And they're designed to print out as six by fours. So if you're at a table, you're playing in person, you can just hand these character sheets out. Ooh. There's 11 pre-generated NPCs that I've made. You can just tell your players, hey, here's 11 characters, pick a party of adventurers out, and off we go. And with those spare pre-gen NPCs, you can use them for interactions, or, or you could use them to um, boost the party um, as they play through the module. Hope that gives you a good overview. Um, hope you enjoy the module. Um, if stuff comes up, give me feedback, ludumpress at gmail.com. Um, I'll eventually do a rata because I'm sure over 100 pages I haven't picked everything up. 
This is our first module. I hope you enjoyed the storyline. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, and as I always say at the end of my videos, it's about gaming. Happy gaming. Stay safe. Thanks, guys. Girls, see ya.